Welcome back everyone. Sorry for the pause in the video series for most of the week. Um, got hurt at work and they wanted it to be, make it to be my fault and it's not and it was just a mess and uh, it was just a busy, busy week um, and didn't really have the basement to myself on <laughs> a lot of the evenings to be able to uh, do the next video. So um, but I'm back and, uh, we'll go over the highlights from the last video. In my opinion, those are the, uh, best five cards over there. The, uh, now I forgot if that was an 80, uh, 88, sorry, 88 Barkley, the 79 Tom Seaver, the Don Mattingly, 84 tops rookie, the 82 tops football passing leaders with Montana and the 59 common but uh jack harshman but still i mean <laughs> really old neat card so you know card that's what 63 years old so um so yeah we haven't had the huge monster hits but i mean so far in what the first four or five videos we have <laughs> two clemens rookies a mattingly rookie and some decent cards so um today's itinerary gonna be so we're going to go first with a 1982 Topps Baseball Grocery Cello. Uh, and then we will probably do the three Golden Lions and then the 2014 Vintage Cards Treasures. So that is the order we're going to do today. Okay. So we will start with the 81 or 82 Tops grocery cello. Um, and if you didn't see it on uh, COG Sports Cards um, channel, we did a really fun uh, box war on uh, Friday night. So look that up again on COG Sports Cards. Um, it, it was even more fun than I was anticipating. It was it was a blast for us. So uh, if you haven't seen that, go go check it out. So this eighty two has uh, rusty on the back and a Valenzuela highlight on the front. All right, so I'm gonna pull the Valenzuela up top because I already know, so we know, so the last card will be a surprise. So his uh, highlight was hurling eight shutouts as a rookie, which just, what, what an incredible way he came on the scene. And that's a nice shape, nicely centered for being on the, um, usually the end cards on a cello pack, because it's usually pretty tightly ra uh, wrapped, or the corners are usually pretty crunched, but it's a nice shape, but... <clears throat> common. Next up, we have a J.R. Richard. Man, poor guy. If he didn't have a stroke or a couple of strokes, I mean, he was. I mean, he was always amongst the leaders in strikeouts and just an incredible pick uh, pitcher. And I think he passed away 15, 20 years ago. Joe Pittman. Billy Sample, that one's way off center. Daryl Evans. Mickey Rivers in action. Took the gum. Ooh, that's right, 82 Tops has, like, the bigger gum. Where's the other piece of it? I want to grab it without seeing the next card. And uh, Brian Asselstein took the other half of the gum. I think we got that exact card recently. Chris Chambliss. Dodgers team leaders with Hooten and Baker. 
I think just one card, nope, two cards to go. Jim Anderson. And a dud pack, I think. Oh, Tom Seaver saves it. Nice uh, 82 Tom Seaver All-Star. I was going to say that whole pack was almost all the way through. Just a 12-card uh, grocery cello pack. Um, almost no, uh, no Hall of Famers or stars in that one, but we got the uh, Tom Seaver, so that's a, a sleeve-up card we got out of that, which is good. All right, now we're go with the first of three Golden Lion packs. Off, so we're surprised with the rest. A 79 Ron LaFleur. First baseball glove I had as a kid. You know how they had the uh, fake autograph, you know, on baseball gloves. Um, my fi uh, first little baseball glove was <laughs> Ron LaFleur. I had no idea who that was. And the glove that I got, oh, midway through the 80s that I still have um is a uh, Jim Rice glove <laughs> Gary Lucas these uh 79 rookies were pretty much all a bust I mean Ernie Witt had a decent career but nothing uh you know nothing that's a uh, star superstar level uh Gil Heredia, I remember him later in his career. He pitched for the uh, A's, huh? Let's say uh, score 92 rookie, rookie prospect. We have a another rookie, uh, Mike Hartley from 90 score. All right. Nice. Nice shape. Goose Gossage, 85 tops. Just a little off center, but this one's sharp. Very nice color on that one, too. A John, or I thought, I thought it's John Franco. I'm like, Bleh. misread that on the back. Uh, Hector Fajardo, rated rookie from uh, 92 Donruss. A Jim Dwyer from 88 Tops. Another 85 Tops, a Tim Conroy. And a 86 Fleer, Jaime Kokenauer. A 87 Tops, Jeff Reardon. Couple more cards, it feels like. Uh, 78, Jeff Burrows. Decent shape. We'll put that in my possible upgrade set area. Ooh. That's a, that's a little bigger hit. Look at that. Beautiful. 77, Stargell. This is one of the better hits we've had out of Golden Lion, I think. That is a nice card. Very happy with that. Wow. That's a beautiful hit. And that's it for that pack. Wow. Wow. Very happy with that. All right. The uh, topper. What do we have here? Mike Perez. A 92 Fleer Ultra rookie. So we're getting a lot of uh, Junk Wax era rookies who didn't pan out. Uh, 89 tops, Chris James. Another one of these 79. Well, I mean, Terry Kennedy was a decent catcher for many years, but still not a, there were no big, huge. I remember as a kid, the big rookie to get in that, those 79 tops rookies was Pedro Guerrero. 
Uh, let's see, who do we have here? Ed Nunez, a uh, Topps Gold. Oops, <laughs> sitting there looking off. Sorry if I've done that to a couple of cards. I gotta remember to hold it this way. So I gotta hold it like way left over here for it to be kind of centered on the camera. So sorry about that. I was trying to... Ooh, nice. I like this one. 81 Donruss Jim Palmer. That's nice. Very nice. I really like 81 Donruss. Another one. This time it's a manager. Dick Williams. This has been uh, decent so far, card-wise. 82 tops, Bob Ochinko. Wow, that's the reverse negative error. Juan Gonzalez, rookie. You see his 19? Dang. I mean, not a ton of value, but just a neat card. from uh, 90 Donruss. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. 86 Fleer, Jason Thompson. 83 Chili Davis. 83 Tops. 75 John Mayberry. Might be too off-centered to upgrade a set here, but I'll still set it aside and Compare it to what's already in my 75 set. A uh, 92 score Eck. Yeah, we'll give that a little, it's a Hall of Famer. It's not, you know, it's one of the lesser Hall of Fame star hits that we've had. And a 85 tops Chris Spire. All right, and that's it for that pack. Our last golden line. Mark Grace from Pinnacle. Man, I used to collect and buy a lot of his rookie uh, rookie cards back in 88. Look at this, a 59 tops um, rookie star of Lou Jackson. That's going to get a hit just because it's so darn old. I mean, it's, it's not a, you know... It's off center, it's not, you know, a major star, but that's kind of neat. Look at that, I've never even seen that card. That is neat, wow, I love the old, old stuff. 81 Fleer, Yvonne De Jesus. I also like 81 Fleer. I actually think I like 81 Fleer and Donruss better than 81 Tops a little. I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe it's because I have so much 81 Tops, I've gotten a little tired of it. Nice, a 85 Tops. Ryan Sandberg, third year, uh, third year card. It's in decent shape. A Topps Tiffany. See how it's nice and shiny on the back, or nice and bright, and it's kind of glossy. Um, of Dave, uh, eighty-eight Topps Tiffany. Dave Martinez. It's top Tiffany, so I'll sleeve that up. Another one. Look at that back to back. This one's a Lee Smith. That's kind of neat. A Topps Tiffany of a. Uh, Hall of Famer. Nice. All right. Getting some fun variety. Look at this. Here we go. A 71. This might not upgrade my set. I'm trying to do my 71 set in PSA 5 or higher, but still, that's, that's really neat. A 71 tops Ken Rudolph. Number 472. I'm going to sleeve that up. It's I know it's not going to upgrade my set because it barely looks maybe a, you know, four and a half to a five. And a 72. I'm going to, I'm going to tractor horn all the, all the really older stuff here. I mean, this is a 50 year old card. So this one, I'll, I'll see if it'll upgrade my set. Glenn uh, Beaker from 72 Tops. This is but and a 75, man, there's some old stuff. 75 tops, Vic Harris. 
This is great. Bill Cottle. <laughs> I remember him. 81 Fleer. Bill Cottle. Man, I can't believe the run of vintage we had out of this one. A uh, Steve Traxel from uh, some top set in the in the 90s that I have no idea about. Um, Hector Villanueva from looks like 92 Upper Deck. And last one of this is a Nether Gossage. Yeah, a little issue there. 89 Gossage. We'll give it a little tap. Uh, 89 Tops Gossage. All right. So that's it for that. And then now, now this pack. Everything 83 Tops or older. So let's see what we get. Reveal this down here. All right. A 78 Bob Forsh. It's in, it's in decent shape, off-center, but we'll see if that upgrades a set. A 82 Joe Rudy. A 77 Dale Murray, same thing. We'll see if that upgrades a set. A 81 Tom Herr. I'm gonna say I don't. I never liked Tom Her, so I'm gonna set that possibly as the junk card of the break. <laughs> hey, there's our probably our one Hall of Fame hit, but a very very nice condition. Uh, Seventy nine, Joe Morgan, and an eighty Manny Trio. Boy, it's too bad that's off center. The colors and everything else are sharp on that one. Last card, a 74, Terry Harmon. So, um, you know, nothing too uh, major crazy in there, but still, I mean, I think that was a fun, uh, fun break. Um, who's gonna be the junk card of the break? I think. Who should it be? B. Gosh, 88 tops is such junk. But you know what? We're going to go with this. I just so dislike these 79 tops prospect cards. So this will be our, this will be our, our junk, junk card of the break. We'll be that. I gotta empty my trash. All right. I think we got everything covered in this video. So what I think are the top five cards will be right over there. This was all baseball today, so we're not gonna have any football or basketball, but um, the next break is gonna have a uh, 2022 uh, Universal Treasures in it. So, you know, there could be chance of some big football and basketball hits in that one but thank you very much for watching and again sorry for the uh layoff of about uh i think it's like five days or so five six maybe seven days all right take care good night